Next speaker is a long-time activist for decades, and he's a writer with Workers' World newspaper, Fred Goldstein. Well, we're here to say that every worker who needs a job should get a job. And that's our message to the summit and to the Obama administration. Every worker in this country who needs a job should get a job. And you can't live without a job. You can't feed your family without a job. You can't put a roof over your head without a job. You can't get an education without a job. A job is life and a job is a right. So that's the message we want to send to this summit. When Martin Luther King, toward the end of his life, gave a speech about the Vietnam War, it was a famous speech. And in that speech, he said, the bombs that are falling on Saigon are falling on our people right here at home. So when Obama declared that he was going to escalate the war in Afghanistan, he also escalated the war against the people in the United States, against the workers, against the poor, against the cities. So he started two wars. He escalated two wars yesterday. Giving a million dollars per soldier to, to send to Afghanistan. Giving the military $700 billion this year to make war and prepare for war. It's a war against the people. It's a war against everybody who needs hospitalization and health care and can't get it. It's a war against everybody who needs welfare assistance, social assistance, child care, every kind of social service that's going to be cut to take our money, our money, and give it to the military. That's an attack on the people. That $700 billion that they give to the military and the $750 billion that they gave to the banks in the top, that's an attack on the people. Every one of those, every nickel of that money should be taken and put into Detroit, to put into Cleveland, to put into Philadelphia, to put into Harlem, south side of Chicago, the Watts in Los Angeles. All of that money could rebuild the cities and rebuilding the cities means putting people to work. There hasn't been a single public housing development created in 30 years since Reagan. That's why you've got people out on the street homeless. That's why people are being put out of their houses because they had to pay high mortgages. They didn't need those mortgages if the government would have built housing with our money for us. I don't know who's in this summit. They said something about business people coming to this summit. Well, I wonder if Ford Motors is in this summit advising Obama and the administration about how to deal with jobs. Because if they are, here's their solution. Since 2006, they shut down 15 Ford plants and laid off 53,000 Ford workers in order to get their profits back up off the floor. And any other corporations that are in there are doing the same. We didn't get 25 million people unemployed or underemployed except with them. They did it. The ones who are going to be inside there talking to Obama. So we got to say, we're not going to take that. We're not going to take it. 
We're going to fight back. We say a job is a right. We say take that money and we need a stimulus program like the WPA. But in the WPA, they didn't take money and give it to businessmen and hope that they would hire somebody. They hired the people right on the spot. They, they said, are you a carpenter? Yes, I'm a carpenter. Okay, here's a job for a carpenter. Go get you, go to work. Are you a plumber? Are you a construction worker? Are you a textile worker? Okay, we've got a job for you. That's the kind of jobs program we need. Every federal office building in every town and city around this country should become a job placement office. A placement office to put workers in jobs. And the money that they're giving to the banks and the military should be turned over to create those jobs. So that's what we're here to tell them. We don't need a summit. We especially don't need a summit of businessmen and academics. If there should be a summit, it should be a summit of workers, a summit, a summit of poor people, a summit of the masses of people who are suffering through this economic crisis. We need a summit of the people, and that should be a summit to organize a mass demonstration to come back to Washington in the spring and demand a jobs program and say a job is a right. We're here to fight. All right. All right. Woo! Fathers are right.